So I use ChatLM from Abacus AI basically daily. It allows you to chat with any, all the popular LMs in one interface. They recently released a deep agent, which they're calling God Mode AI. And I just wanted to test it out and see if it really is God Mode. So let's check it out together. And just so you know, Abacus AI is sponsoring this video. It's a highly advanced God tier general purpose agent designed to run and automate complex tasks. And it can says all the things it can do, including connect to Gmail and some other systems. So let's try this out. Let's see if it's really God tier. Okay, let's start by trying to create an application. Use 3GS to create a flight simulator game where a user scores points by discovering different objects hidden in the map. Okay, uh, it starts by asking some questions. So I just answered the questions about what the game is supposed to be like. And we'll just speed up some of this thinking and planning. So clicking show seems to show the computer it's working on. Right now it's not really doing anything on the computer. Okay, now I can see what it's doing. So it seems to be writing all the code right here. This is pretty cool how it can go back and forth between planning, writing code, researching on the internet, and basically looking for the information it needs to actually create the game. Okay, now it has a code editor. So before it was writing the code, I guess just in a text file, and now it's actually writing it in a code editor in a, in a file. And I'll zoom out a little bit just so we can see everything a little better. And it's executing this command on the terminal. And it's kind of cool how it can see the error and just start to fix the error on its own. And it's continuing to go back and forth between trying things out, fixing bugs, and trying things out again, just like a regular developer would do. Okay, I think it's done. I've created your 3GS flight simulator game. The game is live and can be accessed and it gives me a URL, but it's also gonna show it right in here. So it has realistic airplane physics, detailed city environment, 20 hidden objects, fuel management system. So let's try this out. We can even make the game publicly accessible by using the deploy button in the preview. So that's pretty nice. So let's see how to play. Okay, Q and E to yaw, space, increase, subtle, shift to decrease, throttle. And let me continue this at the actual URL. And let's see what research is. Oh, this is the research that the AI did to figure out what should be in the game. Okay, start game. Okay, the throttle doesn't seem to be working as expected. So I could go back and forth and get my flight simulator to work better, but it can often create games in one shot. Like this example they have on their website, build a game of Sudoku. And it basically shows, if you go through this whole video, uh, it doesn't require any extra information and it creates the game in, in one shot. So I think with more complicated things like the flight simulator, you're gonna have to go kind of back and forth. But let's try something else now. Okay, now I'm gonna try a new task, a different type of task. Write a detailed script for a video essay titled The History of Vibe Coding. Include all major developments starting with its creation in February 2025 through today. Also provide links to relevant video clips and tweets to excerpt in the final video. Okay, now just kind of answering some of the questions it gave me here. And we'll move forward. Okay, it's doing some research here. Nice. Okay, looks like it's starting to write. And it looks like it's doing some additional research. Okay, I like that it's spending so much time researching this. So at first it seemed like it was only finding stuff from February, but it's just continued to research more things. Okay, it's nice that we can see the research as it comes in.
and now it's going to start creating the script. Okay, here's the script coming. Okay, this looks pretty good. I just kind of skimmed it while it was coming in. So there are a few changes I'm going to ask for. And it prepared the research, the video script, media references. It says it did include links to relevant tweets, which I actually did not see. So I'm going to say, when possible, include actual links to visuals. For example, should link to the actual to the actual tweet. And I want the script to also talk about levels of IO and he kind of made vibe coding more popular with his flight sim and his vibe coding game jam. Okay, we got some additional research here. And now it's going to update the video essay. Okay, just fix the script. And this looks pretty good. You know, this could really help with writing different video scripts. Okay, now I just have to make this video. I'm going to download this. Awesome, I could see using this for a lot of research I have to do for video development and tutorial development. This is really nice. And Deep Agent can do a bunch of other things, like it can see it connect to Gmail and automate work, create a book club website, connect to Jira. Okay, I could really see myself using this all the time. This is amazing how it can do research, it goes back and forth, it can use the terminal, it can write code, and doesn't have to keep asking you every time, and it can do additional research. So I really think I will use this all the time. As far as it's being called God mode, I think that's a little much. I think that's taking a little too far, but it is one of the more powerful AI things that I've actually used. So I think this is a great product. And that's it for today. So make sure to subscribe for more tech tutorials and AI news.